Hi, it's Bull 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox version on Legacy. And I keep getting asked about PvE piracy, and I'm going to say that PvE piracy um, is something that's completely different to PvP. You need completely different ship builds. I recommend you check out Wiggy B's piracy guides. His channel I'll link in the description below. Um, his piracy guides are still solid. You can still do low temperature diamond uh, piracy off NPCs in certain systems. Uh, if you go to the Reddit group, there's a dedicated Reddit group for PvE piracy. And generally, um, Frog's the only system that I really go to that works, that I know of. Uh, there are a few others. If I look up the list, I might list a few below. Um, as to this sort of ship you'll need, there's a big difference between ships because when it comes to PvP piracy, it's completely different. When you're doing PvE piracy, uh, wake scanner is useful and also shield tanks are very very useful um, if you're gonna basically there's a method where you you force the NPC to jump and then because you got a wake scanner you can go after them um, if you didn't know this is a really weird and random thing but when you're doing those trucking missions if you're attacked by somebody and they wake away if you go after them they'll still be on the same health and if you've got a wake scanner when you go back into super cruise they won't respawn fully healthy behind you actually worth putting a wake scan on a trade cutter i kid you not it's really worth it um if you don't believe me try it out you'll thank me afterwards but yeah you can afford the loss of one shield booster but trust me it makes those npcs way easier to deal with and similarly pve piracy is useful with a wake scanner but you need completely different ships it's a completely different thing and it's not something I really enjoy doing. Occasionally I'll rob a private courier. Now these things spawn in like high value, high pop systems, which is quite a few of the ones we pirate, and they're worth a decent amount of money. However, I just purse snatch and grab a few tons. Whereas if you come in here in like a shield tank cutter or something like that, you can empty one of these things. Uh, if you find one without point defense, um, you're laughing and you can just rob it all day long. You can aggro and then just rob and rob and rob. But like I say, check out Wiggy B's guide. Um, you need different ship builds for uh, PvE and PC piracy than you do from PvP piracy. You obviously want a larger cargo hold. I mean, I run sort of between 16 and 64 tons of cargo space on my pirate ships. The biggest one is 64 tons of cargo space. The, the normal is about 16, honestly, because um, when we're in a wing, I ask for 10 tons when I'm on my own. We ask for more when we're in a wing. But when we're in a wing, I'm not expecting to scoop it all up. So, you know, it's, PvP piracy requires a very specific ship, which is just fun, silliness, and you're role-playing it. You don't want anything that's going to scare the person off. NPC pirates, you, NPC piracy is totally different. You want a shield tank. You want to be able to sit there for ages taking abuse from the police. Uh, you want to have a wake scanner so you can do the chasing them to systems after system. Because you can push them into systems where they're lawless and then just rob them at your pleasure. Um, there's all sorts of weird and wonderful methods. Check out Wikibee's channel um, if you really, really want to get into PvE piracy. It's not something I've ever done, and people keep asking me about it, and I'm like, I really, honestly, don't know because I don't do it. I occasionally drop in a purse snatch, a private courier when I'm bored in system waiting for PvP piracy targets, but that's about the extent of my PvE piracy these days. I haven't done the low temperature diamond robbing from places like Frog in about two years um you can still do it i the last time i did it was just to check you could still do it and i probably will do it again before posting this, posting this video just to check you can still do it uh but yeah it's one of those things it's just not the same and it's not as much fun i prefer the role play aspect of pvp piracy which is why i do pvp piracy but anyway that's all for this video thank you very much for watching i hope i have answered the questions that people have sent me